All right, Shalom. We'll start saying Brakatayahu, Brakatayahu, Shai, Brakatayahu, Brakatayahu, Shai, Brakatayahu, Brakatayahu, Shai. Brakatayahu, Brakatayahu, Shai. I'm going to say, call her lawyer, wah wah la yahawah, bahashem, yahaw shai, bahashem, or call kadash, double honors to the apostle Israel, great millstone, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect. All right, back at y'all with another video. Um, and uh, real quick, I'm going to just jump right into it. I don't want to stall no time. Um, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 3, verse 5. Um, it said, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands. And did his breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made, and he was made living before thee. All right, as y'all know, this is talking about Adam. All right, which actually, you know, Adam, Yahweh was Adam in the reincarnation. All right, or or in the incarnation. All right, it's like it's like I said, this Adam, who um, who 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 was speaking about. Like I said this this is this is the spirit of Yahweh. This is the spirit of Yahweh All right, and he came back. You know what I mean, and um, numerous reincarnations as Solomon, all right, um, and, uh, various other uh, reincarnations, all right. Um, but it says in verse six, and thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand hath planted, ever, uh, before ever the earth came forth, and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way, all right. It say, uh, and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed, and immediately thou pointest death in him and in his generations. Of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. So I'm gonna stop it right there real quick, because this is very important to understand. It says, "And unto him thou gave his commandment to love thy way," because what people tend to think that is that God deals with everybody, but actually, the Most High is dealing with a certain um, a certain line, a lineage, all right, if you will, and uh, that lineage, all right, I'm gonna show you right here. Let's see. Um, here we go. Uh, Psalm chapter one, one hundred five, verse six. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant; ye children of Jacob, his chosen. It say, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. It say, He have remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which is a which covenant he made with Abraham and. And his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Man, all right. So that 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 covenant, that promise, that um, that way that is speaking about what I was just reading right here in uh, Second Ezra three and one. I mean Second Ezra three and seven. It said, and, and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way. This Adam, was, this Adam was like I said, it was a specific line because back then you had Adamites. All right, um, and uh, but Adam, this specific Adam, was chosen. All right, by the Heavenly Father to to uh, to have the way that we follow to this day. Like pretty much, it was the commandments, but it wasn't back. It wasn't written on stone and stuff like that. They just knew it, and it was a way of living. All right, but they had it back then. And um, this Adam, this particular Adam, he uh, he was uh, commissioned by Yahweh Shemesh to follow that way. And so were his this Adam this Adam descendants, all right, which the scripture I just read in Psalms one hundred five, all right, and um, like I said, in in that way that brothers live to this very day, all right, you know, you're trying to you know not refrain from eating pork, not committing adultery, you know, um, you know, not being a faggot, not being a lesbian if you're a woman, all right, uh, it's just not committing adultery, not doing various things. That's that same way that our forefather, um, our forefathers lived, all right. That's what it's talking about. He, he, he kept his way. All right. You know, um, uh, it says, uh, Psalms 18, verse 21. And this is David, King David. It says, For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. And that's the same the same way. All right. The, uh, the Adam, that, that, that specific Adam, Noah, you know, and uh, various, uh, you know, Seth and various other um, men all right, back in the old world. They kept that same way of living. All right. Um. Uh, let me see. Go back to uh, Second Ezra three and uh, three seven. It said, "And every people." Let me see. I'm going back to uh, verse seven. It said, "And unto him thou givest commandment to love thy way." All right. Which he transgressed. All right. It said, "And immediately." Um. Like I said, when he transgressed, it's because he followed Eve. All right. 
he followed Eve when she he started hearkening. In other words, he started listening to Eve. Um, uh, um, Eve's um, like I said, her um, pretty much her her opinion, so to speak, or or, or what she had to offer outside of the way of Yahweh Shah. That's what he was doing. All right, that, you know, that's how he transgressed and said, immediately thou pointest death in him and his in his generations of whom came nations. Tries people and kindreds out of out of out of number, and going going back, I did a video kind of similar to this same topic, but so you can understand what is going on. Like that's how you show, that's how you know the apocrypha go perfect with with the scriptures. All right, um, let me see. Uh, like I said, this is what I'm referring to when he transgressed. All right, um, let me see. Uh. And as Genesis chapter chapter three verse one, now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, have Yahweh said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, Ye may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, neither ye die. All right, like I said, and that's going into a way outside of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah that Yahweh wanted uh, Adam and Eve to follow. All right, that's why I say Lishi die. And um, when you go to when you go to Romans, all right. <laughs> like I said, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but as our spirit work, all right. What is it talking about when you die? It's not literally talking about once you go outside of that way that you that they was gonna instantly die. It's talking about they. When when you started, when you transgressed the way of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, that's what it's talking about. That anything you do, or anything you do, will will lead to death. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna go, let me start from twenty. Romans six verse twenty. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. All right. It say, what fruit had ye, and what what fruit had ye then in those things were of ye are now ashamed. For the end of those things is death. The end of what things? The end of sin. That's what it's talking about. But now being made free from sin and become servants to Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death. You see that it say for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh's eternal life through Mashiach Yahweh Shai. It say Yahweh Shai Mashiach our Lord. All right, so sin, it, that's that. That's what it's talking about when, when you was going to say, when he shall die, at least he shall, at least he shall die. All right, going back to Genesis 3, verse 6, I mean 3, verse 3, but of the fruit of the tree, which is the, in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, at least ye die. Because sin, they, they started sinning pretty much. All right, that's what it's talking about. If you, if you, if you go with this, um, this philosophy or this way of living, you're gonna die, like I said. It's somewhat useful. It's gonna to lead to sin, which sin is the wages of death. All right. And the serpent said unto the woman, "You shall not surely die." All right. For Yahweh do of know that in the day you eat the world, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and bad. And like I said, when you keep reading throughout this whole chapter, it's it like I said, it's, it's it links up perfect with um what I was just reading the second extra third chapter. All right. And this is how uh, going we'll jump down to seventeen. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Curse is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Yeah, so that's what hap that's what happened. That's what happened when, you, when what I was just reading about, man. Adam he sinned, he went off because he followed he followed Eve, and he and he went outside the way Yahweh Shemel Shah. And that's what that's what this is talking about in Second Verse three and uh, seven, and unto him thou givest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed. Like I said, what I just read, he, Genesis three, right verse sixteen and seventeen, on down, it said he transgressed because he followed his wife, all right, and, and immediately thou appointest death, which that death was because he he sinned, all right, because remember Adam only knew righteousness, all right, back then. All right, prior to him parking to the until until Eve, it said, and him and his generations of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number, and that's the reason why we're going through what we're going through right now, because of, um because of what Adam did, 
and um, it was going like like I was just said in seven verse. It say thou appointest death immediately, immediately thou appointest death in him and his generations, man. All right, and in tribes, nations, kindreds, tongues. That's really why the whole world is cursed, cause all of us come from Adam. All right, but and specific and specifically the tribes. All right, which is the, the, the Psalms one hundred five. You know what I mean? With a six, seven, eight. I think it's nine, ten. All right, it was the twelve tribes who the Lord was dealing with. All right, and that's why we're in this predicament today. Let me see. I'm glad it's last scripture, and then um, uh, let me see. I'm gonna end it on this. Last to Rock chapter forty verse one. Great travail is created for every man, and the heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. All right, from the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. And what you should think about instantly is, like church say, curse shall thou be in the field, curse shall thou be in the basket, and said, matter of fact, I just get it, because that makes perfect sense, all right, which it just came to my mind that um, that's exactly what it's talking about right here, curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field, curse shall thy basket, and thy, and thy store, curse shall thou be... Curse shall be the fruit of thy body, and, and in the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Alright, you see how that works? Going back to Sirach 40 verse 1. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam, which is come to be the, uh, the Israelites, the son of uh, the sons of um, Yashua, well, uh, he prints power. And say from the day that they go out of their mother's womb <laughs> to the day that they return to the, <laughs> to the mother of all things, man. So that links up perfectly what I just read, man. That, 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 that was like, damn. But, um, the Lord willing is edifying prayer brothers to learn something, man. It's, and that's clear as day what the scriptures are talking about. But that don't give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Karkadash. Double honor to the positive, great Mr. Peace and mercy, man, to the Lord's elect. Shalom.